Hello YouTube, in this video we will assume that you are a candidate and you will be interviewed for to reply to a job company for postgraduate DBA. So it is a set of questions. The Q0, Q1, Q2 are very standard questions and uh, they are very easy. So this one is, is uh, what ACID acronym stand for. This one, every, every DBA is supposed to know what it is. So even if you are not re able to reply to this question, it's not really a problem. But uh, this one, Q2, can you explain to me what is the primary key? This one is very important. So you have to explicitly to say two K words and uh, the interviewer will, wa will, wait, will wait for you to reply to this question properly and to say it, these two keywords explicitly. After that, you have the question Q2, what is a schema in PostgreSQL? This is, as I said, it is a standard question. So you have to vulgarize quickly what is a schema in PostgreSQL. Q3, Q3 is, uh, let's say, uh, either you are able to reply to this question or not. It will s the interviewer the interviewer want to know what are your um, skill for PostgreSQL. So this one is in PostgreSQL. What are the transaction relation level? So you know that there are four, and uh, the there is another question pretty easy. What is the default one explicitly used by PostgreSQL? So the candidate is supposed to reply to this question. Q3 and Q4 are linked. So let's go to Q4. Do you mind to explain quickly what MVCC stands for? What is the purpose of MVCC? Don't forget that you are in an interview, so, <coughs> so your time is very limited. So try to visualize quickly what is MVCC. So the interview interviewer will see that you you have the good the, <coughs> the speed skill to reply to this question. And after that <coughs> Q4 and Q5 are linked. So now we have this question, what are the concepts behind vacuum? So a DBA is not supposed to run vacuum uh, like every stupid DBA, but a real experienced DBA know what is vacuum and what are the steps, what, what happened behind the database when this, this, the vacuum process is running. So we have the other question, what are what are the other steps when a vacuum process is running? So what is going on on the database? While, running, while replying to this question, the interviewer will be able to, to see that you are, at this, uh, which you are able to reply quickly and, and uh, to vulgarize the, this question, it means that you are an experimented DBA. Let's jump to the q -sys. Every DBA in his own experience is supposed to meet this, this uh, command cluster. So the interviewer will ask you this question. What is the purpose of cluster command with PostgreSQL? So you are supposed to know what the cluster command is, uh, is supposed to do. And this one is very... Q Q7 is a little bit uh, tricky. Because uh, if you are, uh, it helps the interviewer to to filter DBA with good experience for tuning in PostgreSQL and the one that are just run uh, the, this command without question, uh, without questioning them, them themselves. What is the purpose of analyze command? So the interviewer will ask you what is analyze command and why this command. So before jumping. To the interview, I will recommend you to to go on Google and to write to see what is the uh, analyze command and why this command. Q8. Um, this one is very very <laughs> tricky. I will say that uh, to find a reply to this question, uh, honestly, I don't know if Google will be able to help to help you, but. Uh, that will see that you you meet this this, um, this problem uh, either at least one time in your PostgreSQL experience. So this question is: What is the purpose of PostgreSQL workmem parameter? Let's assume that for a particular query you have to tune workmem. Can you give me a way to tune this parameter? So you have to explain what you, you will do and uh, to see that uh, you find the perfect value for workmem. And you you have to explain why you will do that. 
because uh, I know that there are a lot of uh, DBA, they, they try uh, a random value and they, they want to see that it's work. But you, if, if you see this question, it means that you know what you, what you, are, do, to, what you are supposed to do. Let's jump to Q9. Can you vulgarize the materialize you? Uh, thi uh, this one is uh, quite uh, complicated. Every DBA has, to, has its own experience with uh, materialize you. Introduced uh, a couple of years ago in PostgreSQL. And uh, there is another question. Are there any issues while refreshing a materialize you? So Google is your friend, so try to to see what are the... Go into the PostgreSQL documentation and see what is uh, this issue with uh, while refreshing a materialize you. And to end the, the interview, there is written, let's assume the case that you have to use the rendex command for index uh, or index link to a physical table. Are there any issues to do that? So the interviewer wants to know if you know the problem while using rendex command. That's it. So let's assume that you are in production, that you have to do it, do it in quickly. So before doing that, the interviewer they want to know if you are you met any you maintain any PostgreSQL databases in production that you want to so, to know that if you are aware of the problem with Rendex command. That's it. So it will see that you, it will the interviewer will see that you are enough experience with this command. I think this set of questions is uh, more than enough to see if you are you are uh, you are a good you are a junior DBA or experimented DBA. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.